decided that it's time to try this traditional Swiss uh, cheese. I think I probably started the process of making it in late June. I know on the 24th of July, that was when I um, vacuum sealed it here. As you can see, it's still in its vacuum pack. But there's a lot of process takes place before you can vacuum seal one of these. So it was probably late June. I'm going to give it a try. Uh, if you haven't seen the video of me making it, this went through some very strange things. It was originally the shape of like the round goudas that I make. I'll go get one and show it to it you. It started life being shaped like that. And when it started uh, its process of making the eyes or the holes inside, it swelled and swelled and swelled, and then it sort of went down and became sort of disc-shaped like this. Uh, it's still a quite a heavy cheese. I get scales turned on here. I'll weigh it and show you exactly what it weighs. But I'm not expecting to find holes or eyes in there. It was sort of had a convex surface to it when I started vacuum sealing it and the, the pressure of the vacuum sealing it brought it down into a flat like this when I'm thinking that that crushed if not all most of the holes and I have this thing here get this down to zero there we go Weighs 1.26 kilograms. Can you get that switched over to pounds here or not? Two pounds, 13 ounces. It's not as not as heavy as one of these. This this one would be yeah, three pounds and 11 ounces. So it's, it doesn't have as much weight as the as the Gouda has. So it couldn't have been. Couldn't have been quite that large, I guess. Here goes nothing. I'm seeing some moisture inside here, which I hadn't noticed before, but started seeing that lately. So. Has a nice aroma to it anyway. paper towels to dry off the dry off the moisture. That's better. see some where the holes would have been. I can get that zoomed in. But they're quite quite miniature compared to what they should be, I think. And I think that was me uh, shrink wrapping it, vacuum sealing it. Um, assuming that I like the flavor here when I get to test this shortly, I plan to try to make another one I recently bought a product. I don't have luck with, with wax. I always get uh, mold and whatever coming under the wax. But I recently bought a product from a Canadian supplier. And I'm sure it's available everywhere. Um, it's a synthetic cheese covering that you paint on. Um, doesn't no heat involved or anything. Just out of the container you you paint this on with a brush that was provided. You let that dry and then you put a second coat. It's supposed to um, expand if the cheese expands or whatever without cracking and all that sort of thing. So I'm going to give that a try if I make another one of these and I think I probably will. Mm. Oh, 
Mmm, yeah. That is very good. It definitely tastes like Emmenthal or one of the Swiss cheeses. Very nutty flavor. I like that very much. Well, I've had to buy a new vacuum sealer. I bought that inexpensive one. <laughs> Got what you paid for, I guess. It's gone to the point now where it will just continue evacuating air forever out of the out of the bag and never seals it. So I was at Costco and I broke down and brought another one. That is excellent. If I must say so myself, bragging about my own cheese, but that is very good. I'm going to vacuum seal three pieces of this. I'll keep this one out to to enjoy and keep eating, but I think what I'll do is is put them back in the cheese refrigerator and let them continue to age. I could put them in the regular refrigerator, they would still age, but at a much slower pace, and as long as they're vacuum sealed, uh, you can keep them for months in the regular refrigerator and just slowly age. Um, I think what I will do is, for a while anyway, I'll keep them in the cheese fridge and see if the flavor gets any stronger or anything, but that is, that's very nice. I'm very impressed and pleased with that. Anyway, I'll show you my new vacuum machine and, and we'll close this down. First of my five different kinds of cheeses in the cheese fridge has been opened and sampled and I'm very pleased with it. The model that I used before that gave up the ghost after two or three months here uh, was a sort of a no-brand couldn't find a brand name on it anywhere. It was the least expensive one on Amazon and I'm going to go back and see if I can get anything back out of Amazon but I haven't done that yet. This one is one of the Food Saver models. Food Saver is the brand name. I've only used it once before today but it worked beautifully that time anyway. <laughs> This was the point that it never reached with the other thing. It would just keep pumping continuously and it would never go over so that it was sealing. There. That's a little light goes out. It says it's sealed. And here we are. One piece of traditional Swiss sealed. Well, I won't bother to show you me doing the other two pieces but these are going to go back in the cheese fridge thank you very much for watching and that concludes the episode on my first traditional Swiss and I really now think I am going to make another one and probably quite soon and use that uh, stuff that I found to paint on instead of wax hopefully it would have more pronounced holes that way thank you for watching <laughs>